What's up, what's up, love God family? Thank you for everything. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing my video. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. And guys, I can see that a lot of people are watching, but, I'm, but not everybody is subscribing. Anyway, I still thank you for watching. Thank you for the views. So I'm gonna prepare some ground stew chicken here. I have my mixed seasoning. I don't have any kind of special seasoning. I just use the seasoning that I have. So I have some jerk seasoning right now, some mishdash, some paprika, some salt, some black pepper, and some cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna go in with, with all that on my chicken right now. I'm gonna rub it in. I already have the oil going in the pot right there. So this is my chicken, guys. And I'm also gonna add some browning. I have some butter bean. I have some broccoli that I um some broccoli that I I blanch. And I have some mushroom, some garlic. Those I'm gonna blend out to create my sauce. So how are you this evening, guys? Some brown stew chicken. Also, I have some Jamaican brown stew, brown browning that I'm gonna use to get the color nice and, and right. And everything is gonna go in the pot. And then I'm going to let it sweat its own juice. And then I'm gonna blend with, blend my vegetable with some sea moss. Gu guys, I love to cook with sea moss. It's a very good thickening agent. It just, it has no, no flavor. So whatever flavor you give it, then that's the flavor you, you're, you're gonna get. And I love to also cook with coconut, coconut milk, guys. So my, whatever I'm cooking has a, a, a lot of flavor. So see the color of the meat, guys. See? It's, it's a whole chicken and I like organic meat. So I'm gonna put it in the pot shortly and then I'm gonna cover and let it do its thing. And then I'll come back step by step and show you what's going on. See the meat going in the pot, guys? Yes, guys, so I just bring it on so you can see when I put my meat in, it wasn't as hot as I would like it to be. So I keep it open and so it can start doing its thing. So here you go, guys. Nice color. I don't want it too black. I just like it nice and brown. It's not white and it's not black. Brown stew chicken. Okay, guys, step by step, I'm just going to cover it. So another five or six minutes and then I'm gonna blend the broccoli and the mushroom and the garlic and then I'm gonna put in it and let it cook and then at the end I'm gonna put some butter beans guys some butter beans and my carrot and my onion you can eat it with rice dumpling yam banana Bulga, quinoa, pasta, whatever you want. It's meat or bread, whatever you want. You can even you can even make a, a um like a stir fry with a little vegetable, a little piece of meat and some rice, and just make a like a fry rice. But you're gonna have big pieces of chicken, or you can even cut up the chicken smaller, guys. I'm trying to show you you can make this um runs through chicken and then you can still create some breakfast food from this same part of meat. See you guys just a little bit. So guys, I blend out the mushroom and the onions, not onions, the mushroom, the garlic, 
and the broccoli. I just want to show you. See, it's not green, it's brown. So I'm gonna pour it in. Because we like a lot of gravy. So and, and also I blend it with the, the sea moss and the coconut, some coconut milk. So we like a lot of gravy guys. We don't like meat without gravy. Because we eat a lot of rice, like brown rice, red white rice, black rice, quinoa, uh, bulgur. So we like to have a lot of a gravy in our in our protein. So I just wanted to come back and show you that part guys. So see see the consistency guys also the color very nice very nice guys Some nice brown stew chicken I know people cook brown stew chicken and everybody has their way how they cook it and this is Andy's creation uh, smart cooking creation from Andy and Stevie guys See? very nice very nice consistency look at the spoon guys for all those youngsters out there that don't know how to cook come learn with me step by step get your 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 cooking skills up because you know guys and girls the guy can cook and the girl can cook so you come learn with me and by learning with me you can also create your own spin your own little touch on your food and step by step guys free of cost looking at this beautiful girl right here teaching you helping you you can save a lot of money by preparing at home some people don't like to cook but when you make something and you make a dish and your partner enjoy it, you enjoy it and you save because it's you're not paying uh, $150 or $70, $80 depending on where you go to shop to get just one time eating guys. You make a good pot or a pound of rice and a chicken, you can have dinner for three, four nights and you can also change it from rice to pasta to vegetable just vegetable and protein you can eat this meat in so many different ways guys so come learn with me like share subscribe share the videos guys share the videos share the videos i am trying to go up to a hundred so i can do some lives with you guys and we can talk you can see me live face to face guys Help me, help me grow this page fast, 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 fast. Thank you, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll come back with the finished look, guys. See how nice the color is and how it's bubbling? Look at it, guys. Guys, so I'm coming back to show you the end result on my brown stew chicken. Look at that, guys. Look at how beautiful it is. So I add my beans and my carrots and my onions. Look at that goodness, guys. So beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the consistency of the gravy. Not too thick, not too runny, just beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that. If you like anything, if you love anything, if you learn anything, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Brown stew chicken. Boom popa lake in pa uno. Until next time, walk good.